This place was amazing. You should try to come here every single day. It's different stations that teach you about different things that you never learned before. And it's new experiences. I had a lot of fun and I want to come back. All right, I think we have everyone here. Good morning, my name's Wayne Mate. I'm the Director of Education here at Florida House. My background is I'm a mechanical engineer. Today you're gonna to meet mechanical engineers, chemical engineers, civil engineers, you're gonna meet scientists, you're gonna meet technicians, all kind of folks that have spent their summer getting Florida House ready for this exploration today. We are 100% excited about having Booker here fantastic you're the first to do this and it's great for us so again, yeah. you things that I want my students to know about energy they're not only able to read about it but now they're experiencing it they are part of it they're making energy they're being conductors they're clo being closed circuits and they're going inside of walls and they're you know it, it's just amazing so to be introduced everybody needs a book it's a book that you're going to take with you throughout the different stations and don't, you don't open it yet till we get to it. Each station has a certain page that you're going to have to observe and make analysis, okay? I learned about solar energy, chemical change, heat change, electrical change, and installation, kinetic change, potential change. Oh, and you can save energy by just riding a bicycle. It was so fun because when you roll the bike, different things happen. Like, when you roll the bike fast, a ball came out of a tube and floated in the air, and the lights turned on and a fan. All right, we have two lights. What's he generating here? Keep pedaling. Go, he go. is putting out 33 watts. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we want to cool the teacher off oh, here. Let's cool you, her Vivian. off. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. She doesn't want thank you to stop. Thank you, we have the science fair going on at um, Emma E. Booker and my daughter Jada Lee as well as my son Jordan Lee who came yesterday have been opening their mind to the world of science lately with dealing with the science fair and um, both of them like to see how things work, how things grow and just thought it'd be a good way to expand on what they already know. Okay, so if everybody will turn around, you turn around and look around. Do you see what's going on over here? How many of you, you all said you've never been inside of a wall before. So what we wanted to do is show you what's going on in your house. All of these things are the different things that's happening right behind your walls. You've got hot water flowing, cold water flowing, you've got electricity flowing, you've got insulation to keep all the heat out and keep all the nice cool in during the summer, to keep all the cold out and all the hot stuff inside during the winter. You've got your struts that hold your house up. This is the strength of your home. We wanted to make science real for the kids. So what we did was we used the house as a, that reality check. And they can come in and see how um, a house should work, a modern house, a modern home should work. So we want them to go behind the wall and see the drywall and see the insulation and um, even how to fix it. And um, so then the electrical station, which we call hot wired, it's the same kind of thing. We want them to be able to go there and see how things are connected and how there are conductors and circuits and insulators. And those are the things that they're learning in vocabulary in the classroom. It doesn't mean a darn thing if they really don't know what it applies to. But I need somebody brave enough to close this circuit for me. What's going on, Arthur? Do you want to close the circuit? I think it is a good experience to come here with your child because you can take these things that we have every day at home and turn them into learning moments at home. We talked about insulators and how we have all of these things at our house, but we don't really use them in a scientific way. So I think now maybe we're able to talk about how that light switch turns that light bulb on or how you know, the installation of our home is used in the science world. Boom, there it is! Good job, Arthur, give it up. Right up top, give him a hand, give him a hand. 
one of the things that I have to say, I love the energy of the volunteers, the energy of the docents. It's like, I'm, I'm hyped up about it. And the kids are excited about it. So I just really appreciate that. And higher order questions that they're asking. So they're making the kids think. And that's something you don't always get when you go on a field trip. They're not just willing to feed them the answers, but they're kind of, you know, digging a little deeper. Okay, you know, keep going, keep going. What do you think? And so it's amazing. It just makes it the best, like the best school trip ever because it's everything you do in the classroom. But now we're just outside doing it and people, you know, you're watching someone else do what you do. So it's hard to be quiet. Instead of, a, instead of pistons, what power plants use, it's more like a turbine. A turbine's kind of like a fan or a windmill. Okay, what kind of energy is that? What kind of tradition? Exactly. It's mechanical energy. You're going from chemical energy to heat energy to mechanical energy, and then finally... Every mode is being touched today. We've had to write in our little books. They've, they've been able to touch things and create circuits, and we've done whole group things. And that was really fun. The creating the circuit where we held hands and it was like, wow, we're able to do this. So in crawling under the house, all of those things, I, we have touched every single child's learning style today. Sitting in the sun, that's 100 degrees, all right? And yeah. this is what you're gonna do, follow me. You're just gonna kneel down here, watch your head, and you're gonna go, ho! Oh my gosh. You are under the building. Six years ago, we moved the Florida house. It was way on the other side of the campus. We had to pick it up, put it on a big truck, bring it over here, and we set it on these big stanchions or pylons. My favorite part of today was going under the house um, because you get to learn um, how like different ty type of pipes that you didn't know and how like to fix when there's like a big like a big water drop like if the water breaks you there's a switch that you can turn it off. But we're about to close the circuit, so let our powers combine and. Oh, and there it goes. So what's happening right now? Energy is Electricity is flowing through all of us. And what do we do to the circuit? We close. We close the circuit. So you need two things in order to get electricity to move. You need a conductor and you need a circuit. I learned that electricity, if you, you got to connect it. You can't have it open. If you have it open, it won't work. You have to connect it together, close the circle. If, nothing, if your light switch don't come on, you have to connect it to other. If we, uh, if we just do this, where I not know where I touch nobody, it will not go through a process. But if we do, uh, do this, we should visit here some someday because you get to learn different kind of stuff that I, we didn't know and like what to do if something happens to our house. That's all trying to help the community. That's the whole mission of Florida House in the first place was to be able to help the, the community to be more sustainable. And so that's that was the impetus to all of this. But then the grant from Toyota USA Foundation helped us to be able to narrow it down. We realized that the average adult reads at a fifth grade level, so we said, hmm, let's the workers aren't work on fifth graders then. <laughs> let's start with that group. And then we tied it in with the teachers so that they could really tie that in to what they're teaching in the classroom. I was excited. I, was, um, uh, I knew this was going to be a great place and I would like it. I'm going to tell all of my friends and family about this place and tell them that, can I come again? Then I would tell them all of the good stuff about this place. About going under the a house, stopping water, playing with electricity. Well, not playing with it, um, with adult supervision. And all the good um, things that we got to do at, at, this, at this place. I hope to come here another time too, just to visit. The things that I've seen my students do today has blown me away because I keep telling them, you are so smart. You're smart beyond your years and you don't even know it. I think they're surprising themselves and they're surprised, they're, they're being surprised by their peers as well because students who may not speak up as much, you know, now they're raising their hand, they're seeing these things because it's connecting. It's actually connecting to something they've seen, something they know, again, maybe something they've read. So now it's an experience for them. So 
it's just, it's amazing, you know, when you're able to put children in a learning experience that what is able to come out of them.